You can do anything. I'm, I'm just so excited to be here. Close my eyes and open it up and see what you've done. It's here, go back. You know, I, I don't, you can do anything. I just could not have ever imagined I would come out like this. Can't stop crying good and crying bad. I was run over by a truck or something. <laughs> Breaking news today as a retired flight attendant landed more than a pack of nuts during a beauty makeover. I'm Adrian, and I came in from Chandler, Arizona. Adrian was thrilled to be selected for her makeover. So when I was selected, it was like, oh my god. But when she hightailed it to Minneapolis, she was not expecting this. This goes to show you, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> While carrying a heavy backpack over one shoulder and her decaf latte in the other, she tripped and fell flat onto her face. When the doctor walked in, I started bawling so hard. And he goes, no, no, it's good news, it's good news, it's good news. Adrian was happy with her new haircut and is planning on a return flight where she will again walk the makeover guy runway with her freshly applied landing lips. Tell me a little bit about um, experiences of being a flight attendant. What was, you know, um, some high points or some some life-changing points that you experienced? We could write a book if we were talking about that. This could go on forever. Every the, the the great part about being a flight attendant was every day is different. Every day is pe different people, different places. You didn't know what day it was. You don't know where you were for sure. I started in 1999 with Continental Airlines. A lot of things changed after 9/11. Being suspicious of everything and everyone, and watch this and watch that. It's not like today. There were no masks. People were calm. People were nice. We went to fun places. We had fun layovers. It's not the same. It's never going to be the same. I have recovered, and luckily recovered. Look at how many people have head injuries now that aren't making it. Massive headaches, neck pain, and a lot of recovery to do. I'm just trying to look forward to being healthy again. I'm Adrienne Pardee. I'm from Chandler, Arizona. I'm 68 years old. I'm living the dream today. I would like to come out of this experience looking pretty, classic, and put together. And now, let's see the big review. They welcomed me back, and look, it's fabulous. I'm so happy, I'm so excited. I love everything, and I'm so grateful. That's me, 68, looking great. It's, it's, it's really, it's fabulous. I'm so excited, I'm so happy. Thank you, know. It's just like rebirth. Every time I look in the mirror, I see my mother. I'm not looking at that same old face. I feel light. I don't like long hair on older women. I know my hair is pretty. People stop me all the time. Many comments about how, I, how pretty my hair is. I, I like a style. Long straight hair to me is what I've had my whole life. It's not a style. I want to feel polished and, and attractive and that long straight hair is not me. <laughs> If you love this video, we want you to hit like, subscribe, and please leave a comment below. I will read every comment. I'm so excited to know what you're going to say. If you want to know when the next video is coming out, just ring the bell. Ding, ding. <laughs> Woo! How spontaneous that was.